we're going to draw the Lewis structure for lithium hydroxide, an ionic compound. Now, I know it's ionic because lithium is a metal and the other things are non-metals. Lithium wants a charge of plus one. Now, I know that because it's in the first column. And now you know that because it's in the first column. All of these metals here want a charge of plus one. But in addition, the hydroxide ion you've probably memorized is OH with a minus one charge. These are going to be held together with an ionic attraction. But OH hydroxide itself is two non-metals bonded together. That makes it a covalent bond between them. Now, oxygen brings six valence electrons with it. I know that because oxygen is in group 16. Hydrogen brings one electron in its valence shell. It's in group one. And this minus one charge means that it has one extra electron compared to what you expect. Presumably it got that electron from a lithium, but that's neither here nor there. This is eight valence electrons to deal with when you're drawing the Lewis structure for hydroxide. I'm going to draw myself the O bonded to an H. I always start out with single bonds between my non-metals, because if they weren't bonded, it wouldn't be a particle. And then I need to complete the octet on each atom. Now I have eight valence electrons total. That's barely enough for one octet. Hydrogen doesn't need a full octet. It's one of the exceptions. It's happy with this single bond. So oxygen gets those extra electrons. Now oxygen has a full octet, which it does need. And this particle is stable. This is the Lewis structure for the hydroxide ion. Now, how do you deal with lithium? Well, lithium here has a <clears throat> plus one charge. So lithium, which normally brings one electron with it, now no longer has that one electron. So draw it empty and give it a plus one charge. This is your Lewis structure for lithium hydroxide. You've got a covalent bond here between the O and the H. And the reason these two chunks, Li and OH, are attracted to each other at all is because there is an ionic attraction or ionic bond between them. Look at that. It's a Lewis structure with both kinds of bonds. C'est la vie, huh? Thanks for being with me and best of luck.